It's time for a Chris's Basement bonus video. So why is this a bonus video? Well, if you follow my channel, most of the time you'll notice that I do these long-winded firmware explanations or some assembly of some kind, and I don't get a lot of time to do these videos just to show you things that I find along the way. So that's what I want to start doing. I want to integrate a few of these videos here and there just so I can show you something cool. And one of the coolest things that I saw in 2019 was at Earth. And it's this guy right here. Now, if you saw my only interview from Earth 2019, it was with Paulo Blank. And Paulo came all the way from South America just to show us this printer that was collapsible into the size of a filament box. Not only did Paulo do an awesome job creating this printer design, he created a 3D printable mini version of it and he gave one to me. And yes, even the 3D printed version fits all right here in this little box. And you would not believe the detail on this design. Almost all of it comes out of the box, already fitted together in one complete unit. A lot of the wires are glued onto the printed parts. These are actual pieces of wire. It even has a little mini spool holder. Almost exactly like the real mini bot, you can just pull this bed portion out. You have your power supply right here. You have your gantry and your x-axis right here. You have your hot end complete with a Bowden tube and all the wires attached. And if you look inside, he even has the metal smooth rods. So you can stand your gantry up. Your y-axis and bed fit right in right here. Oh, and of course, the bed does move in its own little guide. It stays right on there. It can move back and forth. Your hot end carriage here has a magnet, so it can go right on the X. And of course, it can also move side to side. Same with your extruder motor. If you turn the whole thing around, it has a magnet on it back here, so you can mount your extruder on the top. Of course, the extruder has a spot on the top where you can mount your Bowden tube. You have a spot to mount your spool holder over here on the side. You can plug in your hot end wires, your extruder wires, even your power supply over here if you'd like. And I know what you're thinking, we're missing something. What about the filament? Oh, he's got you covered there too. It's even my favorite color. I'm just blown away on how good a job he did putting this whole thing together and how tiny it is. And this video doesn't even do this thing justice. You almost have to see it in person to realize how intricate it really is and how well it's self-contained. I'll leave a link in the description below to Paulo's Thingiverse page where the Minibot project is. Check out all of Paulo's work and check out the video from Earth to see more on the Minibot. I look forward to sharing a lot more things like this with you in future videos. This is just one example of how awesome the things can be that this community creates. Hopefully you found this entertaining, and I'll see you on the next one.